Welcome to In the Kitchen with Dinah. Today I'll show you how to make baked rigatoni with Italian sausage. Someone's in the kitchen with Dinah. Someone's in the kitchen I know. Someone's in the kitchen with Dinah. Gonna taste good I know. Baked rigatoni with Italian sausage is a really delightful pasta dish has some ricotta in it, it's got some red sauce, we've got some really chunky fun noodles and Italian sausage. It became one of our favorites the first time I made it. It was on my menu um, for my clients and I thought I'd show you how to make it today. So um, I've already browned and gotten my sausage ready. So I've got a pound of sausage, a half a cup of onion and some garlic that I browned. And I've also got in here, I've got three cups or eight ounces of cooked uh, rigatoni noodles. And they're the great big huge ones. So I made a double batch here, but I'm going to show you how to make a single batch. I'm going to take half that. That looks about right. So this is one pound of cooked sausage. Now normally, um, I use the links and I roast those and then I slice them into coins and then I fry them in the pan so that they're brown. I couldn't find any this time, so we're using bulk sausage. With the, with the supply chain going how it is, I guess use what you can find. If you want to use spicy sausage, you can. Um, it does call for sweet Italian sausage. So now we're going to add to your pasta and your sausage and onions and garlic mixture a cup of ricotta. And when this is hot, you want to get it all stirred, it kind of melts in there, just, just wonderful. Okay, so we've got that going. So um, find yourself a three quart glass baking dish, you can use metal if you have one, and your favorite marinara. We're going to put a little in the bottom here. Right, so you want to put a little bit of sauce in the bottom of your dish, and we're going to put about half the mixture in here. Kind of eyeball it. Scoot it around. And we're going to put some sauce on it. Probably about a half a cup. You'll need two cups of mozzarella total, and I kind of put some in the middle, some on the top. Having the layers like this makes it so, so delicious. All right, I think that's about right. Go ahead and put your other layer of the pasta and the meat on here. It's heavy. I have to say, using the bulk sausage was way easier than trying to get the links roasted and sliced into coins and then um, cooked again. So this was definitely a speedier method. So maybe we've discovered something new. All right, so we're gonna put about another half to three quarters of a cup sauce on the top. I'm gonna spread it out just a little. This is very uh, lasagna-esque if I may, with the ricotta and the red sauce with Italian sausage. It's very, very similar. All right, so we're just gonna go for it. Dump on your remaining cheese. Get it all spread out. And we're gonna sprinkle a little parm on the top. All right that cheese down there. We're going to cover it with foil and we're going to bake it in a 400 degree oven for 20 minutes to a half an hour. Tent up your foil just a little so it doesn't stick to the cheese. You just want to cover it so that the cheese doesn't brown so much. All right, now we're going to pop this in the oven.
All right, so this has been in the oven for about 25 minutes. Ooh, you know, we could stick it in for a little bit longer just to get all the cheese melted. Why don't we do that quick? Let's go three more minutes. Mm -hmm. Right, so it looks like it needs some more time because it's bubbly, but I really want that a little more melty and a little browner. So let's give it some more time. All these ovens are different, that's for sure. Let's go four more minutes. Oh, that looks terrific. All right, so this looks really great. It's hot, bubbly out of the oven. The cheese has browned a little. So let's get this served up. Now, if you wanna freeze this, don't put it in, don't put it in the oven. Um, just wrap it really well in a uh, container. This one actually is, has like a Tupperware lid. Put your baking instructions on it and just pop it in the freezer. Oh, look at that cheese. Holy cheese, man. get that corner out here. <laughs> oh my gosh. There we go. Yum, this looks so yummy. And I have to say, I haven't even tasted this yet, but having the bulk sausage instead of the... Um, Links made it so much faster and so much easier. Let's give it a taste here. I got cheese. Oh, I think it's everywhere. That's, <laughs> it's really everywhere. Cheese, chin slapping me. Cheesy goodness. That is really delicious, guys. I hope you try this. Hey, thanks for joining me today to make the big baked rigatoni with Italian sausage. Don't forget to give me a thumbs up, subscribe, and hit the bell so that you don't miss out on any other delicious recipes coming. I hope you guys have a great day. If you have any questions, the recipe will be in the description below. And have a great day. Welcome to In the Kitchen with Dinah. Today, I'll show you how to make... Uh, should, do I say that? Show you sure. how to make... Sure, however you want to do it. Danny, go lay down. There's nothing out there. Danny, go, go lay, lay down. down. Go mm -hmm. lay down. Go lay down. Go lay down. No, go lay down. Hey, Denver. Denver, go lay down. Go lay down. Hey, where are you going? Don't start barking. No. Bob, go lay down. Five, Billy, oh. Gonna taste good, I know